Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on Gauss-Jordan elimination, that is solving a system of equations using matrices. If I'm going to do that, the first thing I need to do is take my system and write it as a matrix. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to look at the numbers of each equation. So my first equation becomes a 1, 5, negative 4, 8. My second becomes a 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 5. To make this a matrix, I put brackets on either side. To make it an augmented matrix, I represent my equal signs with a line. Okay, my goal is to get a one in the first row, first column, second row, second column, and so on down the matrix. Obviously, there's only two rows, so I'm looking for two ones. Because we don't have three equations with our three variables, we're gonna end up with a parametric solution because you cannot actually solve a three variable equation distinctly with only two equations in this method. Okay, so I'm gonna pivot on this two, and the way I'm gonna pivot on the two is I'm gonna say row two minus two row one. Row two is two, negative four, negative one, negative five. For this, notice I have negative two times row one. I'm actually going to do all of that, negative two row one. Negative two times row one is negative two, negative 10, eight, and negative 16. When I add down, I'm gonna get a zero, negative 14, seven, and negative 21. I'm gonna divide through by negative 14 so I can get this leading number a one because that's ultimately what I'm trying to do. So my new matrix becomes, my first row didn't change, one, five, negative four, eight, my second row is going to become 0, negative 1, negative 1 half, and 3 halves. Brackets to make it a matrix, a line to make it an augmented matrix, and we're good to go. Now what I want to do is I want to, this should be positive, um, use this 1 to clear the 5. So I'm going to say row 1 minus 5 row 2. Okay. So to do this, I'm going to start with row one. Row one is one, five, negative four, eight. Negative five row two is zero, negative five. A negative five times one half, you only multiply the numerator, that becomes a positive five halves. Negative five times three halves becomes a negative 15 halves. And then of course I'm gonna add down. 1 plus 0 is 1, 5 minus 5 is 0. The negative 4 times 2 over 2 is negative 8 halves. So negative 8 plus 5 is a negative 3 halves. 8 over 1 times 2 over 2 is 16 halves. 16 minus 15 is 1. So coming back up here, my new matrix is going to be my first row is going to be 1, 0, negative 3 halves, 1 half. My second row is going to be 0, 1, negative 1 half, 3 halves. We put our line in for our augmented matrix. Now, if you look, the very beginning of my matrix right now is the first two rows, first two columns, is an identity matrix. That tells me I'm done. What this really translates to is x minus 3 halves z equals 1 half, and y minus 1 half z equals 3 halves. We now have x and y in terms of z, not quite an answer. So what we do is we say set z equal to t. This is our parameter. So then x minus 3 halves t is equal to 1 half. We add the 3 halves t to both sides. And we get that x is equal to 1 half plus 3 halves t. My y minus 1 half t is equal to 3 halves. We add that 1 half t to both sides. And we get that y is equal to 3 halves plus 1 half t. So now we have enough to write our final answer. Our final parametric answer is going to be 1 half plus 3 halves t, comma, 
three halves plus one half t, comma, t. We have all three variables acknowledged in our final answer. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.